Hi, I'm Tracy Malu. Today we're going to be working on a series called Arm Supine Progressing into the Classic Teaser. But what's so great about this flow is that we're actually turning away from the bar and going towards the risers. So let's get ready to work our arms and our core and integrating them together. Let's get going. So let's start with a blue spring. So I'm going to put my blue spring on here and then obviously as you get stronger you can take it up to a red spring. We're going to actually take off these headrests here which is what's so great about this reformer. I'm just going to pop these little headrests down in the middle so we know where they are. Now we're going to be facing the risers. Make sure your headrest is down. We're going to scoot all the way forwards. Put your feet into the well to get into it so that your preparation to get into the exercise is just as important as the exercise. So this is kind of where we would start. You can see where my butt is right where the shoulder rests were. And I'm gonna pick up my straps. I'm gonna work with the long loop. And we're gonna roll down, making sure your head is somewhat on the actual carriage, depending on the length of your torso here. So we're going to basically take our hands straight up, right to your ears, and then we're gonna come back down again. Raise all the way up to your ears, palms are facing up to the sky, and then we come back again. Let's do a couple more of these, keeping your shoulder depressed. One more. And now bring it up so your wrists are over your shoulder joints. We're going to float the right knee up and then float the left knee up. So now we're in that tabletop position and we're going to repeat it. So we exhale, reach the arms over your head, inhale, bring them back. Exhale, reach up and over, inhale back. So even before you move your arms, we really need to draw the shoulder blades down towards the pelvis so your arms are connected to the back. Now we're gonna add and layer to this. As we take the arms back, we're gonna drop the right toe down towards the floor and then bring it back. And again, drop the left leg down and back. So you're just going down just a little bit towards the floor and then back, exhale, bring it back two more times exhale challenging your core just a little bit more and bring it back now hold it here now we're going to go into circles keep your tabletop position the arms go over your head they circle around down to your hips and then they come back up again so this is like arm supine big circles Keep your knees over your hips. Draw the abdominals in towards the spine as always. Inhale over the head. Exhale as we open the arms down. One more. Inhale over your head. Exhale around. Now we're gonna reverse the circle. So they go out to the side. Lift over your head. Feel that nice stretch through your shoulder joint. All the time. We are trying to keep the pelvis as stable as we can. And circle. Nice big circles now. We're going down and around. Can we do one more? Absolutely, we can do one more. Now bring the hands up so the wrists are over your elbows, over your shoulders. Hold it there. Now it's gonna get a little bit more challenging. We're gonna extend the legs out. Lift the head, neck and shoulders of the arms, come to the ears, and then we come back again. Kind of similar to like a little double leg stretch, but we inhaling out, exhale on the return. Inhale, drive the abdominals in, look towards your thighs, and then we come back. So it's progressively getting harder. Of course, you can keep your head down on the mat if you're feeling in your head, neck and shoulders. Otherwise, 
bring that head up. Let's do one more. And hold it here. Now it's gonna get progressively harder. I'm holding on to those loops here. We're gonna try and roll up, bring your head, neck and shoulders, peel yourself up and come up into your tabletop. And then we roll down. Arms back up, overhead. Try that again. So now we're going back up, up we go. Da, 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 chair position. Now curl down one vertebra at a time, one bone at a time, and then take the hands over your head in that stretch. Now if this is too challenging, just keep your feet down onto your headrest if you can, and then roll back. Now the next layer of course is we go into an extension up into your teaser. We roll up, teaser, so we're actually right at the stopper there. We bend our knees. Now drawing through the lower abs, articulate down, slow and controlled, going against the resistance of the spring as you bring your head back. And again, inhale and just reach all the way up into your teaser. You hit the stopper, so I'm right at that stopper right there. And then I bend the knees. Can we do one more for good luck? I always say that one more for good luck. All right, let's try that again. Breathe and lift up into that teaser position. If this is too challenging, just bend your knees. Otherwise, hold that leg, legs up. Bend the knees, curl down slowly. So it's your lower lumbar spine that rolls down one by one, and then the arms continuate and finish off that stretch. Woohoo, there we go. Drop the feet down, drop the hands down, all the way down by the side of your waist. And we're gonna try and do our little roll up here. We're gonna roll up lift all the way up, that was the hardest part, and then pop the little straps down. Awesome work. So there's a lot of core work there, a lot of shoulders, a lot of arms, integrating your upper body with your core. And what a great way on the Allegro too, where we can take the shoulder raids off and we're allowed to have that more movement availability for us to be a little bit more creative in how we do our arm supine and our teaser prep into our final grand finale of our teaser. I hope you enjoyed that. I look forward to seeing you right here again. Have an amazing day. Tracy Mallet here.